Hello, today we're going to switch roles a little bit and the students are going to be able to become the teachers. They're going to be the ones designing the questions that revolve around multiplication. Now this is an important skill because students need to be able to create these situations in their head because these are the situations that they're going to see in the real world which this program is trying to teach and encourage so they can face them in the real world successfully. So 4-4 four, four is called writing multiplication stories. And the example that it gives here says write a multiplication story for five groups of nine, five rows of nine, five times nine. Josephine has five friends over for a snack. She gives each friend nine grapes. How many grapes did Josephine give altogether? So they have a nice picture here. It has the plates. How many plates? You can look back in the question. Five friends. And then how many grapes are on each plate? Nine grapes. Okay, so that's five times nine, five groups of nine. And you can count the grapes on each plate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And five friends. One, two, three, four, five. You could write the repeated addition. Nine plus nine plus nine plus nine plus nine. Plus nine, or the multiplication sentence. Nine times five. Now this is a really good lesson for the students who like writing and not math because it gets them able to be creative and make their own problems. So at the bottom here number one says write a multiplication story for each exercise. Draw a picture to find each product. And the problem we have is four groups of three. So my question is going to be this. Mr. Chase has four groups of students. Each group has three students. How many students does Mr. Chase have. Now there's a few key elements to each story problem that you're writing. First of all the information has to be in there. So 4 is here and here. 3 is here and here. And the other part is, is that you always have to end your story with a question. You can't just say something and expect to get an answer. Make sure you end it with a question. So I end, I end mine with how many students does Mr. Chase have? So if I have four groups of students, each group has three students, I can draw a picture for this. That's the next key element. So I have four groups of three students. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. As you can see, there's three in each group. One, two, three, and I have four groups. One, two, three, and four. Feel free to be creative with the groupings, what you want to say, who you want to involve in your problems, as long as they follow the multiplication story. Fine with me.